Hello, everyone. My name is Suyuan Wang, and I'm now a PhD student in University at Buffalo. And today, I'm delighted to present my research based on the continuous monitoring high spatial and high temporal resolution impervious surface. Recently, it's a rapid urbanization era, so we have a lot of urban development, like urban renewal and expansion. Both of them are happening at the small scale and happen rapidly. So. If you can see the middle picture, both changes are related to the impervious surface changes. So it's very important to do the monitoring of the high spatial and high temporal impervious surface. As we all know, if we want to both keep the high spatial and high temporal resolution, it's really, really difficult and will, cost a, will have a high cost for the satellite imagery requirement. So, uh, but for now, the CubeSight combined with the low cost satellite imagery pro uh, uh, provide a great opportunity for us. And Planet, Im uh, Planet Company provides a three meter daily revisit planet scope imagery for us to do the research. And uh, uh, it haven't been explored in our field, in, in my field. So our research question is about whether it's feasible to, pr uh, to use planet scope imagery to do the monitoring at high spatial and high temporal resolution. Our methodology uh, is sitting here, and here are three challenges we are facing right now if we want to achieve the high spatial and high temporal resolution. The first one is about the computational challenge. And if we want to do the time series anal analysis, because here we, uh, we are mean to monitoring the changes, every pixel need to build a model, so, so it be the computational challenge. And the second one is the training data challenge. For impervious surface, it's not just ca uh, one kinds of objects, it's multi kinds of objects, like buildings, roads, the parking lots. And the last one is about the spectral challenge. Before, when we do the time series analysis, we're always using Landsat imagery, which have seven spectral bands, which means more information. But right now, we just have four bands. That's a limitation, and we need to figure out if it's possible. Here is our workflow, and our workflow tried to solve the problem of uh, the challenge of the computational challenge. And if you say this workflow is divided into two steps, the first one we will generate a mask for the unchanged pixels. And then we will only detect the change time for those changed pixels. So it will save a lot of computational resource for us. Now let's go to the detailed steps. The first step, the pixel level masking of the unchanged impervious surface. We generate our data site, our training data site from three cities, Washington, Tallahassee, Calgary, and uh, then we're using the UNICEF model to do the image segmentation. This is a pixel level image segmentation. And at the end, we will know each pixel will have a result like it's an impervious surface pixel or non-impervious surface uh, pixel. It's a binary mask. So after that, we will done, uh, done the masking step for the imp uh, unchanged impervious surface. And next step, we will detect the temporal, uh, the, the change time for those changed pixels. And for here, we required 158 planet scope imagery for Buffalo within five year time interval. And we're using the harmonic model to do the detection for the breakpoint, which is a change time. And on the bottom line, you can say, uh, you can say this model can detect the change time really well. Our result shows our first step, the pixel level masking you using the UNICN can detect the building, parking lots, roads really well, and it can do the delineation because it's a high resolution, three meter. And uh, for the temporal change detection, we achieve a 0.77 percentage of the temporal changes. 
In addition, we also find the three meter resolution is really, uh, really important for us to do the urban studies compared with other studies like the 10 meters, 30 meter, and 100 meters. It's really helpful. And in addition, we also find the temporal information we used in step two is very useful to mitigate the false alarm errors occurs when we're just using two C imaging array to detect the changes. And for here, here are two examples. Like if we, we want, uh, if we just using two C, the shadow and also the seasonal coverage would cost a lot of uh, errors, but the time series model can solve that problem. Now let's draw our conclusion. It's really, really indeed feasible to using the planetscope imagery to monitoring impervious surface at the high temporal and high spatial resolution. And uh, we, uh, we're using the UNICN combined with the harmonic model to achieve this. And that's all. Thanks for listening.